Hello everybody, Walt here and first of all I would like to welcome you to this new Phaser series where I will be teaching you how to make a Pong like game using Phaser. If you don't know what Pong is, it is a very old game, similar to table tennis. We will be using the latest version of Phaser 2, which you can grab from the Phaser website, which I will leave in the description. I also assume that you have basic programming knowledge and a bit of experience with JavaScript, as I will not explain the JavaScript side of things. If you are new to this channel, then subscribe so you never miss a new tutorial, and with that out of the way, we can start making our game. So first of all, we want to create a new directory, where we will store our project. We will have another folder in there called Assets. Here we will hold all of our assets, from graphics to audio and other things. Now you need to put the JavaScript phaser file next to the Assets folder. We don't need multiple files to set up phaser, Phaser is just one huge JavaScript file which we can reference in our game. Then we want to make an index file. For this particular game we will store all of our code into one HTML file, as it is not a big game. However, I do not recommend doing this when working on bigger projects. To test our game we will need to set up a local server. Making a local server can be quite difficult for a beginner, but I have found this tool called Phoenix, which I have been using for all of my work lately and it has been working very well. You can find the tutorial on their website on how to set it all up. Once you have it installed, you can make a new server using our projects directory. Alright, so what you're going to have to do now is open up your index.html file and in here we're going to have to write some boilerplate code. So first of all we need to define our HTML tags and in here we're going to do our head tag. Uh, if, you're, if you don't know um, if you don't know the basics of HTML, you should really learn them if you want to uh, learn how to make web games. Um, I, will not be I will not be explaining the HTML side of things. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's add a title, I'm going to say Pong. Uh, what else do we need? We need our script. Uh, we need to include our um, phaser uh, file that we have in our root folder. Draw script and we need to define a source. Uh, which is phaser.min.js also need to close out uh, the script tag and um, let's add some CSS as well uh, say type equals tag CSS and then in here we're just going to do a simple margin for the body margin zero and we close that out in the head and now let's include our script well not include our script we're, we're going to include all of our code in our HTML um, index file right so we ain't going we aren't going to have um, multiple JavaScript files uh, it's all just going to be in here so we can put our body tags here and say script type equals text slash uh, JavaScript if the text is too big or too small, please leave it in the comments and I will change it in the next episode. Um, as of right now, I don't know. I'm, it may be too big, um, but I think it's fine for now. Um, right, so let's uh, make... Actually, let's close our uh, script tag. There you go. So, um, now let's uh, create our game variable. So in Phaser, you need to have a reference to your game. Right, so we can create our game uh, variable, and here we'll create a new phaser dot game. Now, in, in between these two brackets, we're gonna have a few parameters. The first two parameters are the, re the resolution of the canvas, or I guess the screen. Uh, we're just going to do 800 by 600, so that's 800 pixels on the x-axis and 600 pixels on the y-axis. And then we are going to need to specify which renderer do we want to use. And in this case, we want uh, Phaser to choose what what is the best render that we can use. We can either use Canvas uh, Renderer or we can use WebGL. Um, by using Phaser.auto, you can uh, well Phaser checks uh, what is best uh, for the browser. So um, that's what we're going to do. And the next is the DOM um, ID. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. We'll just leave it empty for now. And now we need to specify what um, what is our preload, create, and update function. Because Phaser has three main functions. It has a preload, a create, and an update uh, function. Preload is for loading everything in, such as assets. Create is something that runs on one frame. 
and kind of just places everything and update is what updates every frame right so here we can pass in um, preload is preload we're going to create these functions uh, right after this so preload and create and so that's create and update to update so now we're going to reference those to the functions that we're going to be making now so we can say function preload and then cr uh, function create and then function update. So that's all of our boilerplate code. This is what we need to get our game running. So now if we actually run the game, we will see a blank screen. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. And uh, next tutorial, I will be showing you how to uh, set up our stage and hopefully create some gameplay. Okay, so what we can do now is go up to Phoenix and we want to create our uh, local web server so we can actually run our game. And the way we do that is going up to web servers and then pressing new. And here I already ha have it filled out, but you're going to have to uh, put in a name, a directory and a port. And then you can just press create and it will create it up here for you. And then you can go ahead and start the server and actually launch it up. Once you have started your server and clicked on the title, you should be able to see your game. At the moment it's just a black screen, but we will add on to it. If you press F12, there should be no errors and go into console. There should be no errors except uh, maybe some um, uh, random ones, but there should be no um, syntax errors. And once there are none, you can go ahead and continue on to the next episode. So thank you for watching and goodbye.